Here's the faux dory junk journal that I made recently. There's the back and it's made from recycled pl um, pleather. It's like a plastic and I use that for the cover and I did um, I just painted leaves. It's a garden journal. It says mon petit jardin and it's got um, the elastic closure and I did a charm a detachable charm it has um, the lobster clasp and a lot of the little charms I made with a um, one of those glue molds although I did use polymer clay for it and then just some wire wrap beads and trinkets from my stash and we'll go in it got the elastic closure and let me see it's got mm, one two basically about three signatures you can call them signatures um, the front cover is the 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 pleather is covered uh, glued with um, scrapbook paper and there's a little um, cut there's a there's a little butterfly one of the ready-made EK success uh, die cuts and I did a little envelope thingy put in this pocket and a little um, folder for journaling which I put a wine label on since Chardonnay is my favorite wine and and this is shelf liner that I had left over but it has the uh, spices basil, oregano, tarragon, thyme um, and it's plasticky but it, it it's like Mac Tac and, it, and I just uh, stuck it onto uh, some leftover some paper that I recycled and little um, from my stash a little label that says garden journal and I stapled that on and I made a little tuck here um, with and this just has is one of those um, little keepsake envelopes and it's clear and I have a little feather in one of those little uh, keepsake envelopes and then you can just stick it closed and this is tag and a little tuck, a little uh, banner paper clip, and then my favorite um, hand cut stencils in the corners. And another tuck, another stencil right here from Tim Holt's Thin Dye. And just um, one of the free printables that are abound that abound on the internet. And homemade um, foam stamp. And let's see, I've got a little tuck there, and the previous page folded back, little um, word glued on, and I just took some cards and used the cards in the envelope to create things to put into the pockets. And just a little homemade stamp, it's supposed to say miracle, but I kind of misstamped that a bit. That's okay. Manila, large manila tag for journaling, and I used um, some rec receipts uh, that I had. Did a stamp on that, foam stamp. Um, again, homemade, homemade stamp, and these are the, the pre-cut dies from EK Success. I got a package of those and they came with some little plasticky ones. And
and I just had to staple those on. I tried to glue them on, but they didn't. They wouldn't really glue. So I wound up stapling them on, which is all right because I could use that for a tuck. Another little uh, pocket, little angular pocket, and I did the a little washi tape um, paper clip flag on it, and folder, homemade folder, and just a little tag to write on. And oh, clip that on there. Little blossom keepsake holder. Got the the homemade hand cut stencils corner. A lot of the the uh, stamps are made from foam, fun foam. This is oh I forget, but it's not a homemade one. I think it came with some gelatos that I had. And this is um, the first signature middle. And I just made some um, leaves out of the... out of some... it's a tape. <laughs> I'm drawing a blank. Um, duct tape. And then I did a pocket with a little Word there, a little piece of uh, scrapbook paper, dollar store cloth flower, and just just some things to fill it. Internet freebie printable. And I just used, um, I think I used some color spray and a spray through a stencil for the pattern on this paper and this is um, the card that went with the envelope and I just did uh, glued on some napkin and that's a good way to use your little envelopes you just um, glue them shut and cut them in half and they can make some little holder for a piece of paper and I just partially glued that bird on and it holds that pretty good another tuck spot there I like to try and leave some empty pages I'm gonna speed it up a bit so you don't get bored tuck spot uh, stamps 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 tuck spot this one I stapled it. My tiny attacher, and um, this these are just photo sleeves that I made out of um, the. Um, I think I had some one of those um, things you can buy from Walmart, the photo uh, holders, and then I just took my wood burning tool and glued one the top one shut with it and then I got two this way and then I just cut it cut them off and then I made several of those for putting your photos in there of um, gardening pictures and this I really liked um, this is just this didn't work out so hot but it's it's okay it's just the, the uh, border punch used to house the um, the envelopes again that I used and basically I just took the business size envelopes and folded them in half like this and then I stitched them down here with my sewing machine and then I took the free printables that you can get online on Pinterest or anywhere else and I made envelopes out of that and that could be for holding seeds or if you collected your seeds from last year could store them in here. So I did a bunch of those and pretty neat. And again the same with these. So one, two, three, I have four on each side. So and then this is just uh, wrapping paper, recycled wrapping paper. 
the funny pages in here just sprayed with some um, color spray and then the previous page folded back and glued there you go tucks galore on this one right here right here stamp and then there's that packet of um was it ek success i think no it's not it's i forget what it is but anyway, there it is. And there are pre-cut dies that I got from Walmart and just glued those on. And I had some um, old um, vegetable uh, brads that I used on the very top. I tried to... Um, do some stencil words there. Another little um, pocket, angular, angled triangle pocket, and a 4x6 card for journaling, tag that I made with uh, stencils and sprays, freebie, printable, tied a ribbon on the top. corner stamps and then a doily with the book page on the back freebie printable another 4x6 card for journaling and a brad and butterfly stamp on a stamp a little fold folded heart cutout stamp it. Oh, that's not it. There's a freebie, freebie printable and here's one of those bags that we always get for given for gifts and I just cut the bottom off, poked two holes in there and made it into kind of a little envelope thingy. And then I just put a safety pin through there just to secure it. And that is my junk journal Fodori.